Hey guys, welcome back to program of and today in this episode we're gonna run Android Studio benchmark test in the new MacBook Pro M1 Pro along with the MacBook Air M1 and we'll also be comparing the results in both of the machines. So guys to run Android Studio you actually need JDK installation to be done. So JDK is available for the Intel Macs as well as Apple Silicon. So both of the variants have been installed in both of the machines and we'll be testing for both. So currently first of all we'll be testing for the Intel variant of JDK. So let's first of all let's try to open up Android Studio. Okay. So we have got Android Studio set up in both of the machines opening up in both of the machines. So Android Studio is now open up in both of the machines. And by the way guys the repository the project that will be running is actually an Android Studio benchmark repository that is available on GitHub and if you by the way want the link of that so that link is down into the description below you can go there and have a check and also run that for your machines as well so we have the android studio already installed we have got the project selected in both of the machines let's select here too and if i just get into the terminal i'll show you that right now so right now we have the java installation done for intel variant so as you can see here into both of the macs so right so we'll be just testing this out so let's get back let's source to our path zshrc and let's try to echo java underscore home so here we have got the installation done for until and let's even check for this so echo java home so both of the machines are now ready let's get into the android studio okay so dot slash gradle i'll just try to copy up the code to make it really quick so we have just copied this up paste same goes for here we'll be copying the code So here we have the code. Oops. Into the terminal. Now we are ready to go. So this has already started compiling and this has also started compiling. So guys, just into the fraction of the time till it compiles, we'll get into the activity monitor to have a look what happens with the machine. So into the activity monitor for both of the machines right now. So let's open up the CPU monitor for both. So here you can see that the idleness into the CPU is all around 70% in this laptop that is the M1 Pro. And in M1 we can see that idleness is moving around 55 to 60%. Okay. So there's a little bit more of usage into this laptop. And if we come down to the memory usage, we can see that this laptop is currently using around 7 gigabytes of RAM and this is using around 12 gigabytes of RAM. So we are nothing running nothing else than the Android Studio. Let's get to the result. Have a look what's happening. 83% executed here and over here if we have a look 83% same but it has taken around 2 minutes of time and this has taken just 1 minute and 49 seconds. Just, there is a difference of 20 seconds by the way. So let's see which compiles first and builds the project first. So and by the way we can see that the performance scores are filling up so the idleness is moving around 65 percent so there is more of utilization of the ram and in this if we have a look we can see that that is all around 62 percent so m1 is actually utilizing more of the cpu and rather than the m1 pro obviously because this has got a more number of cores than the m1 so it will be utilizing less number of the cpus but Till now what we can see right now is that both the machines are pretty fine, working really fine. Memory consumption is around 11 gigabytes in M1 Pro and memory consumption here is all around 7 gigabytes. That, that is actually trying to build up a little bit more pressure onto the RAM because this has got only 8 gigabytes of RAM whereas the m1 pro has got 16 gigabytes of ram so there is absolutely no pressure for the ram in the m1 pro but yes we have got a little bit of a more pressure onto the ram in the m1 so but then too whatever is happening all around here is really good uh, this is moving around to three minutes of time now 
and this is even also moving into the three minutes of time so guys what we can see is that the m1 is still utilizing the memory into a very efficient way it's not lagging everything is still snappy it's still very good as well as into the m1 pro it's just going good there is not a lot of difference by the way into the execution we can see that this is all round done to 94 percent 95 percent this is at to 96 percent just one percent faster by the way we have started the project a little bit late in the m1 pro that was around 20 seconds to 30 seconds so let's see which finishes the project first so this is around now 98 percent very close to finishing the project and this is around 96 percent so let's see which makes the first win so re getting really close 99 percent done and i hope so it will be done into next 10 seconds so 33 34 waiting for this as well yeah it's done so in the m1 pro it's done in 4 minutes 38 seconds and if we have a look over here it's still going on about 5 minutes so 4 minutes 38 seconds in the m1 pro with an utilization of ram that was all around 11 gigabytes and the cpu utilization stayed around 70 percent of idleness so there was just 30 percent of consumption utilization for the cpu there is no pressure extreme pressure being built upon the ram as well as the cpu okay now here too it is also done that is 5 minutes 26 seconds so here we have got 4 minutes 38 seconds and here we have got 5 minutes 26 seconds so there's just in difference of all around 50 seconds not a huge difference we can see here by these results and we can say that clearly that both of the machines are really good and performance for android studio there's not a lot of gap but yes obviously there isn't 50 seconds of a gap if we have a look so the 50 seconds will actually make up a difference of just all around 20 to 30 percent now let's switch the jdk installation for apple silicon and let's see what actually happens how does the results actually affect so let's get to the terminal once again okay so here we are nano z profile okay we'll comment this up we'll go here and we'll save y enter source to our zshrc zshrc okay now we are ready so let's echo the path and let's try to have right so we have got the zulu version of the jdk installed and ready and this also let's do the same thing let's comment this ready x y enter source it to and echo the path to have a look right so we have got ready for the jdk installation with the apple silicon variant and let's get back to the terminal in android studio and run the test for one time more with the apple silicon variant of jdk so let's get the command ready enter enter so now let's get back to the activity monitor have a look what's happening so if we get to the activity monitor we can see that clearly we just come down to the cpu let me search for java so here we have got java being used i don't know what's happening why is it not using the jdk for apple if we come down over here have a look for cpu it's still oops guys we made a mistake we actually needed to restart the android studio we made a mistake we'll be just trying to quit this up <laughs> okay we'll just try to stop this we actually made a mistake okay so we'll restart once again so if you're actually switching between the intel variant and the apple silicon variant so you just need to restart the android studio so we'll be restarting the android studio 
okay so here we restart the android studio project is loaded let's get to the terminal let's load the command and let's hit enter and here we go okay so we have we are ready to go and we are just going on and on Oops. the task is building up let's get to the activity monitor really quick yes now we can see that the java that has been actually used is the is for the apple variant okay apple silicon variant here too we can see this okay the cpu utilization is moving around 50 percent okay 75 percent idleness is 25 percent if we come down over here we can see that the idleness is around 30 percent three percent so idleness is just three percent maximum utilization goes around 97 percent we can clearly see here for this machine it goes around 70 percent it's utilizing more of the cpu so the apple silicon variant of the jdk utilizes more of the cpu power that it actually has and provides us a little bit more faster builds so let's see what is the exact difference okay let's get to the memory by the way let's have a look so this is having a good amount of pressure onto the memory ram that is around 7 gigabytes so it has only 8 gigabytes the swap memory has also started being utilized so that is around 2 to 3 gigabytes and this let's have a look what's happening to the memory that's staying around 12 gigabytes okay so that's really good there's no being there's no big pressure being built upon it okay cpu idleness is changing to 67 70 percent that's really good so now the utilization factor has like changed to 30 percent only okay it's moving up now utilization is also decreasing up idleness is increasing around 80 percent right now and here we can see that the cpu utilization is still around 40 percent and 60 percent is idle so that's really good let's have a look what's happening to the project what's the time okay still compiling oh it's done build time is done so we have got successful build in 1 minute 52 seconds so guys we were at 4 minutes 38 seconds we come down to 1 minute 52 seconds that's really huge and this is also done so 5 minutes 26 seconds was for the intel variant now when we switch to the apple silicon variant we got 2 minutes 30 seconds so that's we can say just around 40 seconds of a difference so just 20 percent to 30 percent of a difference nothing more than that but both the machines perform really well we'll be trying and testing this for one more build so let's go for one more build and let's try and test because it has been said to us that the subsequent builds will take less amount of time so as the android studio stated us so let's get for one more build and let's try and test that okay having a look at to the cpu consumption once again so the cpu consumption is really good in both of the machines this actually goes further at a maximum of 97 percentage and this stays around 60 percent and 70 percent of utilization nothing more than that and as part of the memory consumption this is actually trying to max out actually there's a huge pressure being built upon the memory so it's actually using the swap memory as well we can see that clearly 7 gigabytes is like 7 gigabytes is the usual consumption of the ram so if you're actually going up with a macbook air m1 it is recommended for you that you switch up to the 16 gigabytes of the version that will actually serve you more better performance for programming and developer perspective and if you're going up with the m1 pro model so this is just enough along with the 16 gigabytes so let's get to the project by the way and have a look what's happening okay so still the projects are building up and we have gone we have done with that so one minute 29 seconds from one minute 58 seconds we come down to one minute 29 seconds so we can see that the transition from four minute 38 seconds to one minute 58 seconds to one minute 39 seconds that's just around 90 seconds of total performance and if we come down to this machine we can see that it's one minute 56 seconds so from two minute 30 seconds to one minute 56 seconds once again uh, just a difference of all around 30 seconds we can see at a maximum so 20 to 25 percent of a difference performance difference not a huge difference but yeah obviously if you'll be having much more larger projects it will take more longer time that means it will take 
uh, approximately 25 percent more time so that's it guys so we have finally tested off with the benchmark results and by the way if you haven't watched the comparison between both of the machines the link is into the top right corner you can click there and have a look at to the comparison for everything for both of the machines that is the m1 pro along with the m1 so we have already put out that video you can have a look at to that video as well if you've got any more questions please comment it down below we'll be happy to help you if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye